Hey, hello, hi! Welcome, everybody, back to a new video. Today, we're going to be playing Smash Bros. on our DS. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with Smash Bros. 3DS, which is actually the first portable official Smash Bros. game. One of my first 3DS games, and I played the hell out of this, but this isn't what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at a R4 version. So, of course, this will be playable on any of your older DSs, DS Lite, DSi, all those older systems. <laughs> It has to be a specific version of the R4, so this is technically one of the more better versions, the Wi-Fi, R4i, RTS, 3DS, SDHC, blah, 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 blah. This version, ironically, doesn't work. Similar to iOS, Android OS, these R4s have a specific OS, so R4 OSs are also referred to as kernels. And you're gonna need a R4 with a wood kernel onto it. So, so to tell if you have an R4 with a wood kernel, you're going to want to put your R4 into your DS. And if you open your R4 right away, if you have this sort of selection for the games, media, and slot 2, your R4 is not wood. The reason why you need to make sure you have a wood kernel R4 is because whenever you play this game, let's say if I go over to games, um, and load up smash crash right it loads up fine and let's say if you press start you'll have this white screen forever and it's just not gonna play so if you have a r4 specifically with a wood kernel this will work so i'm gonna be installing it on this one right here and um it's kind of funny because i paid a little bit extra for this r4 right here just for this aliexpress seven dollar r4 to be compatible with it you're gonna want to have your sd to usb adapter and your r4's sd card which you can just take out from the back right here and just go ahead and insert it into your computer. And you're gonna want to go to the first link in the description, which will take you to this game brew page, which has our game Super Smash Bros. Crash. All we're gonna need to do is just go over to this download link. Let's go to our downloads folder right here. And if you don't have 7-Zip installed, make sure to install that. It's free, pretty easy to install, but we can just go right click more options and let's just go and extract the files with 7-zip. There we go, there's our folder. We can just go and delete the 7-zip file. Double click right here. And let's go and unzip this Smash Bros. Crash file. All right, so now that we unzipped it, we can go over to this folder right here, double click, double click again. And here are our two main files. So we could just go and open up our R4's SD card, take this Super Smash Bros. DS folder and just put it to the root of your SD card. Let it do its thing right there. This is pretty much the whole game. And here's our folder that we just went and transferred over. This actually took a lot longer than I thought. It took like at least five minutes just transferring there. Take this NDS folder and pretty much put it wherever you want on here. Um, I'm gonna put it in my DS ROMs folder. So just drag and drop the NDS folder right there. And this should be quick. And that's pretty much your whole installation. So we can just go and take this out of our computer, put it back into our R4, and I'll just show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so here's our other R4 plugged into our 3DS right here. You can tell it's white right there. And all we need to go and do is just launch it up. Now this is how you tell you can have a wood R4 if you get these different options right here. There's a micro SD slot two, and usually it's another folder. But we could just go over to our scroll over to our DS ROMs and just go and look for the Smash Bros. Crash. Go and press A. And if we press start, we shouldn't have this error anymore. There we go. It turns black and we should get another loading thing right here. Yep, there we go. I'm not exactly sure why it's different for the different R4s, here, but we just go and press A on solo. Let's go over to free battle and let's just go and take our player one thing right here. Let's go and do Kirby. Um, You know, the weird thing about this is that there's different unlock unlockable characters with anime people. I don't know. I don't watch anime so i can't really uh, i don't know much of them but let's go and try out this uh different character sasuke and let's just go and press start and do green hill right here let's take a bit of time to load up there we go it plays just like the normal smash bros but for some reason it's on the bottom screen so yeah he doesn't even have the inhaling abilities oh there's a s how do i activate this i'm not sure how to activate it there we go so it looks like it takes different sprites from different games, which is actually really cool. There we go. I just eliminated uh, Sasuke's stock. Seeing Sasuke in Smash Bros. on the DS is something really crazy, especially from, what, 2010? Oh, to activate it, you press Y. Let's, uh, let's actually get out of here and 
Let's see the different characters we could use. Ness, I'll put Sasuke again, only because it's more of a different character. Go this guy right here, Sanji. Press start right here. You could actually choose the level of the CPU, which is cool. I'm gonna just leave it at nine. Give us a little challenge. I wanna see what this stage is. I actually really don't know what this is. Let's go and press start. Oh, okay, it's a Onet from Earthbound, okay. Well, these CPUs are crazy hard to beat. Maybe I'm just bad at the game. So it does kind of have some of the classic Smash moves, you know, you have the side special projectiles and stuff like that. Oh no. Sasuke has a final smash, what? I'm getting obliterated. They're teething on me. They're not even going after each other. I want to see this other anime guy get it. No, it's Sasuke again, okay. Whoa, okay. Okay, so this actually isn't even that bad of a game. This is pretty cool. Some uh, something you know to go and play around with on your R4. I'm gonna get annihilated by this guy again. Watch. Yep, there we go. So yeah, this is pretty much the whole thing. Something nice to go and play around with on your R4. Um, I would actually love to see gameplay of this on a DS, like original ds but i don't even have one for myself so uh so definitely show me what it looks like on my discord i'll uh, make sure to like subscribe for more follow our new instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys in the next video